In this video, we will discuss how we can find out the maximum path sum in a binary tree. So given the root of a binary tree, we have to find the maximum path sum of any path. So let's first understand what do we mean by path. So path is a sequence of nodes where each pair of adjacent nodes has an edge connecting them. So in the path, a node should come only once. We should not count the node more than once. And it is not necessary that path should pass through root. Let's see an example. So in the first tree, if we find the maximum path sum, it will be the path comprised of these three nodes, which is 9, 10 and 20. So the path sum is 39. And in the second tree, the maximum path sum is comprised of nodes 20, 15 and 7. So it is not necessary that path passes through root. So let's see what are the different cases that can be possible. So the first case can be when the tree has only one node. So in that case, that node will be the maximum path sum. So in this case, 9 will be the answer. Now a second case can be when all the nodes of the tree are positive. For in this example, 9 and 1 both are positive. So the path sum will be 9 plus 1, which is 10. Now a third case can be when there are two nodes, but one is positive and one is negative. So in this case also, the maximum path sum will be just the positive node. So here it is 9 because if we add these two, so it will be 8. But this node 9 contributes to the maximum sum. So the maximum path sum of this tree will be 9. Now let's take an example which has more than two nodes. So in this tree, we have both positive and negative nodes. So if we find the maximum path sum in this tree, it will be comprised of these four nodes. And if we take this example, the last one, here the maximum path sum is 10, 11 and 20 comprised of these three nodes. So here it is 41. So now once we've understood the problem statement, let's try to build up a logic on how we can solve this. So what we want to do is for each subtree, we have to find out the maximum sum it can give. So for the subtree which is rooted at 11, so left of 11 is null, right of 11 is also null. So the maximum sum it can give is 11. Let's store all these sums in a variable result. So left of 11 is 0, right is also 0 and the root is 11. So basically the maximum sum right now is 11. So now we check at 5. So we'll start from all the leaves nodes because we'll be going from bottom to up. So for node 5 also left and right is 0 or null. So this will also give sum as 5. But 11 is greater than 5. So the result will still be 11. Now for node 14, it will provide the maximum sum as 14. But 14 is greater than 11. So we'll update our result as 14. Now when we're at node minus 3, so left of minus 3 is giving a sum of 5 and right of minus 3 is giving a sum of 14. So the maximum sum which can be there at minus 3 is 5 plus minus 3 plus 14 which is 16. So we'll update the result to 16. So now we have to consider the maximum sum that can be present in the right subtree of 7. So I told a condition that in this path a node can be counted only once. So which means we cannot have a path which is like this. This is not a path because here minus 3 is counted twice. So there are two options. So either a path will be comprised of 7 minus 3 or 14 or a path will be comprised of 7 minus 3 and 5 because each node should be counted only once. So this whole subtree, the maximum sum it can provide is 14 minus 3 which is 11 because 5 minus 3 is 2 which is less. So this will provide a sum of 11 which is 14 and minus 3. So now at 7 the left is providing 11 and right is also providing 11. So for 7 we have 7 plus 11 plus 11 which is 29. So 29 is greater than 16 so we update our result. So now let's check at leaf 3. So 3 will provide a sum 3. We are at minus 7. So left of minus 7 is 0, right is 3. So the maximum sum it can provide is minus 7 plus 3, which is minus 4. So now when we are at node 6, we check that right is 0 and the left is providing a sum of minus 4, so which means we can skip this entire subtree 
and we can just provide the sum 6 which means this entire subtree the maximum sum which it can contribute is 6 so now right of 4 can contribute a maximum sum of 6 and left can contribute a maximum sum of 18 why 18 so 18 is basically 11 plus 7 so either we can take the left subtree or we can take the right subtree because each node should be counted only once if we take both then 7 will be counted twice so we have to take either the left one or the right one so the maximum sum it can produce is 18 so left is producing 18 right is producing 6 so the maximum sum at 4 we can get is 18 plus 4 plus 6 which is 28 so 28 is still less than 29 so the maximum sum that we can get is 29 now let's see the algorithm for this so we have our result variable which will basically be the maximum path sum of this tree so we have a function maximum sum that takes the root so we'll provide pointer to node 4 then we have some checks if root is null then return 0 so basically we are considering all the null nodes as 0 so this is null so basically null will give us some 0 then we have two variables l sum and r sum so l sum means what is the maximum sum that the subtree rooted at root left can provide so we'll start from 4 we'll come here now we'll call this, this function for left of 4 which is 7 so now the root is 7 when we come at 7 we again call this function for the left of 7 which is 11 so now this function is called for 11 and our pointer comes to node 11 so for 11 we again call this for left of 11 which is basically null when the root is null we return 0 so which means the maximum sum that this can provide is 0 now we call for the right of 11 which will also give maximum sum as 0 once we have both the l sum and the r sum we'll compute result so in result we compare the previous value of result which is 0 to the l sum plus r sum plus root variable so l sum is 0 r sum is also 0 root value is 11 so we compare 0 with 11 so the result will be updated to 11 and then from this function call we return the maximum of l sum and r sum plus root value so l sum and r sum both were 0 and the root value is 11 so this function call will return 11 so which means the subtree rooted at 11 can give a maximum sum 11 so which is basically this arrow that we have here so now we are at node 7 again so now we compute the right sum for node 7 so for node 7 the right node is minus 3 so we call this function max sum for minus 3 once we call it for minus 3 then we call this l sum for left of minus 3 which is 5 so now the root becomes 5 and this function is again called the so left of 5 is 0 which means the l sum will become 0 for 5 and r sum is also 0 because right is 0 and then we compute l sum plus r sum plus root well so l sum is 0 r sum is also 0 root is 5 so we compare previous value of result which is 11 with the new value 5 so 11 is greater than 5 so the result will be unchanged which is 11 and this function will return the maximum of l sum r sum which is 0 plus the root well which is 5 so this is basically this arrow which we have pointed here so this subtree will provide the maximum sum as 5 similarly the subtree which is rooted at 14 will provide a maximum sum of 14 so now once we are at minus 3 so at minus 3 we know the l sum is 5 r sum is 14 l sum plus r sum is 5 plus 14 minus 3 which is 16 we compare result with 16 so result is 11 so result will be updated to 16 and this subtree can provide a maximum sum of 14 minus 3 which is 11 so which we have shown here so because either we can take the left path or the right path so the right path is giving maximum sum of 14 so we take the right path and this subtree will provide a sum of 11 now we are at node 7 so l sum at node 7 is 11 r sum is also 11 so the result is 11 plus 11 plus root well so which is 29 we compare 29 with the previous value of result so 29 is greater than 16 so we update the result to 29 and the maximum that this subtree can give is 11 plus 7 which is 18 so this subtree can provide a maximum sum of 18 now we come to 4 so at 4 l sum is 18 and now we have to compute the r sum for node 4 so we go to the right of 4 which is 6 so the root becomes 6 we come here and now we go to the left of 6 which is minus 7 so the root becomes minus 7 left of minus 7 is 0 
so l sum becomes 0 and right of minus 7 is 3 so r sum becomes 3 so we compute the result at minus 7 which is l sum 0 r sum 3 and root is minus 7 so it becomes minus 4 so 29 is greater than minus 4 so the result is unchanged and this subtree can provide a maximum sum of l sum which is 0 r sum which is 3 and root is minus 7 this can provide a maximum sum of 3 minus 7 which is minus 4 so at 6 we check that this maximum sum function is providing the maximum value as minus 4 so what we are doing here is we have called this max function and we are compared it with 0 this means we are checking that whether we should include this subtree or not so if you see here if we take this tree alone it is providing a sum of 6 if we take this entire subtree it is providing a sum of 6 minus 7 plus 3 which is 2 so there is no sense in taking this entire subtree because that is decreasing the sum so what we are doing is we are computing the maximum sum at each node and we are checking should we include this tree or not so here we have seen that the left is providing a maximum sum of minus 4 so which is less than 0 so including minus 4 will decrease the sum so we can just skip this and the l sum will be 0 which means we are not taking this entire subtree so the l sum will be 0 and r sum will be 0 as well because right of 6 is null so the maximum sum which is possible here is l sum 0 r sum also 0 and root is 6 so the maximum sum here is 6 which is less than 29 so the result will be unchanged and the maximum sum this tree can contribute is l sum 0 r sum 0 root is 6 so this can provide a maximum sum of 6 so now at node 4 l sum is giving 18 right is giving 6 and the root value is 4 so the maximum sum here is 28 so 28 is still less than 29 so we won't change the result so we have traversed the entire tree and the maximum path sum that we have gotten is 29 so this is the maximum path sum that is possible for this tree so the code is quite simple we just have to check for each node that whether taking that will increase the sum or we can skip it so we just do that for each node of the tree and we traverse from the bottom to up so if we talk about the time complexity of this program the time complexity is order of n because we are traversing the each node only once so once we have understood the algorithm let's have a look at the implementation all the source code that i'll be showing is available in my github repository link of that is available here and as well as in the description now let's have a look at the code so in the main function i've created this tree which i've shown in the left side I have this result variable which I've initialized to 0. I call this function maxsum and I pass it the root node. In the maxsum function, I first check if the root is null. If the root is null, then we consider it as zero sum, so we return 0. Then I compute the lsum and the rsum. lsum is the maximum sum that can be provided for the left subtree. So I call this function maxsum for the root of left and I compare it with 0. So I take the maximum of the sum obtained from the left subtree or 0, which means here I'm taking a call that whether I should consider the left subtree or just skip it. If the sum is basically negative, then I could just skip it. So that means the lsum will be zero. Similarly, for the right subtree, I call this function maxsum and I pass the right node and I take the maximum value from the maxsum function and the zero, which means should I consider the right subtree or I should skip it. At each point, I am updating the result variable. So I'm comparing with the previous value of result and the new value which is the l sum plus r sum plus the root value so the result will be the answer for the maximum path sum of the binary tree and in the end i return what is the maximum value that is possible from this subtree so either we could go to the left or to the right so the maximum of the left sum or right sum plus the root value so once the entire tree is traversed i have the result stored in this rest variable and here i am printing it let's have a look at the output of this program so the maximum path sum in the binary tree is 29 which we have seen is for the nodes 11 7 minus 3 and 14. so that was all for this video if you like my content please do like share and subscribe to my channel it really motivates me to make more such content and until next time this is sandeep thapar signing off